so with this little card i got for free i was able to travel to the uk with three bags like it's 10 kg here boys 23 like i'm for real you heard me well 323 kg bags okay so so stay tuned to this video while i navigate you around how i did this okay see you soon Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're just seeing me for the first time, my name is Jumai Machuku and welcome to this channel. On this channel, we share anatomy lessons videos, I share lifestyle vlogs, I share international student life, I also share some other educational videos and travel vlogs and lots more that you should expect on this channel. So do well to hit the red subscribe button if you've not subscribed and like this video because it's going to help you travel with so many luggage without paying any extra fee. Do you get it? Okay, so moving straight into this video without further ado um the secret is i actually use qatar airways exactly. so guys disclaimer qatar airways did not pay me for this video like i'm just trying to help you that have plans to carry a lot of foodstuffs or a lot of luggage to the uk do you get you need to book your flight like a month before so that you could get a direct flight mm -hmm. but if you're not sure that um, you would get a visa which I don't think is your prayer but if you're not sure that um, your visa might come out at that particular time you can at least wait a bit but it's kind of easier if you book your flight ahead of the time that you get so okay say you've booked your flight it has like two layovers don't be scared but this is the problem with having a layover if you're having a layover with Qatar Airways make sure that it's still operated as the airplane is still operated by Qatar Airways because if it's operated by a different airway so let's say it's operated by British Airway or let's say African World Airline and um, let's say it's a different airline you would have to pay for the extra 23 kg luggage for that um, airline that's not operated by Qatar Airways okay so if you want to enjoy this without paying any extra you have to book ahead like a month before and it has to be like um, a straight flight to where you're going to but if it's a connecting flight that's it has to do with another airline not operated by Qatar Airways you literally have to pay for that airline to where you're going to when you get there and they transfer you to Qatar Airways showing this card alone that means you can travel with your 23 kg luggage of three bags do you get now the second thing is you need to be less than 30 years so if you are more than 30 years I'm sorry this is not for you you get it you need your admission letter or you can actually use your cast that letter showing that you are a student and you're studying in so so and so place and i think i also use the birth certificate but they need something to verify your age i think it's also in your admission letter your date of birth should also be there so that's what you do so, so i'm going to be showing you how to get this card i just got the card and printed it so this is how it looks like i don't know if you can see it good so it doesn't have any passport it's just straight away so what you do is you go to the qatar airways there are two uh, membership there's a privilege membership that is not what we're looking for and there's a student club membership so do you get so if it takes you first to privilege membership you can create that membership first then you have to still go back to the student club to join or register sign up for the student club do you get that so i'm going to be listing out the privileges first before i teach you how i'll be signing up so i'm going to be sharing this screen right now so you're going to be seeing what i'll be doing so the benefits of the student club I'll just quickly read them for you as you can see it's help you save money with every booking so you get 10 percent of your first booking when you join the student club and i also got that after my first booking I, there was kind of a discount you get so you get another discount and the additional baggage allowance on the website you see 10 kg but guys i traveled with 23 kg <laughs> it's 10 kg here but it's 23 like i'm for real you heard me well 323 kg bags okay so the next thing is there's a free wi-fi yes you see a free wi-fi on the airplane and there's a privileged club tire upgrade on graduation that's after you finish graduating um they cannot upgrade your membership from the student club to the privileged club um flexibility of course then companion pass and what or not what not so that's basically what you enjoy so when you go to the site you just sign up it's very easy so that's just the website so when you open it you see the processes to join i'm going to click join now so getting me to join now this is what this is what it takes me through 
to join now you see you're going to put your email address you're going to insert your password let's say this is what i want to put you're going to put your mobile number it doesn't mean you need to have a uk number or a us number you can put in your nigerian number you get that um please make sure that the details you're putting corresponds with your international passport uh, oh did i just say international passport your passport i was corrected not to say international passport so your passport make sure it corresponds with your details in your passport so you put your title your first name your middle name your last name the date of birth are you male or female um where do you live in the country of residence um, you have a couple of country here, Angola, Argentina, Austria, wherever was your country of residence, you put that in. Then when do you expect to graduate, what's your year of graduation, and you see what they require now, your um, school ID card. Um, I'm sure you would have not gotten your school ID card in Nigeria except your university actually gives a digital one But if you don't have your ID card, I actually used uh, my admission letter my cast letter That's what I used to when you do that you agree to the terms and guys you create your account and you're good to go Now when you create your account, you see that you get this card. You just go to um, you just click here then you click here you click here you see you can see your virtual card here if you're using the application as you're using the application you downloaded the application the id card might be looking a little different i would advise you go to um, your browser maybe your chrome whatever browser you're using go to browser and get uh, it to look like this if you don't want to do that they're actually going to send you an email of this id card so you just have to go and download it go to a cyber cafe and print it in this kind of plastic card so you know that you have an official id card and aside the three times 23 kg luggage you can still use that um id card to go for subsequent journey like other journeys and the next journey will be like 15 percent discount and so on and so forth so guys please this is real make sure you're partaking from this and have this card so you have an extra 23 kg luggage bag so um i actually did a video about how i moved from nigeria to the uk if you're still doubting that this is not true you can actually see that video Video, and you see that I had more than two bags I had like three bags and my backpack and my hand luggage so I'm going to link that video up there so you go and check out that video and you see that it's for real like it's for real you guys so guys I'm going to end this video here if you've not watched some of my videos about how to um, leave Nigeria to the UK and how to navigate around the UK what not to buy what to get and a lot of videos make sure you check my playlist I'm going to drop it on the um, description box do all to check that and if you want me to film any video you think you like just scroll to the comment section and drop what you want me to film i'm going to do that for you so guys please hit the red subscribe button if you've not i love you <laughs> have a wonderful day bye